Mars rover Curiosity watched these wispy, ice-filled clouds drift over the Martian landscape one evening this March. Scientists have been watching Martian clouds through Curiosity's eyes for nine years, but they had never seen clouds quite like this. It is a really neat experience to see something that you didn't expect after you've been doing this all this time to find out that there's still new stuff out there to look at. Mark Lemon is a Mars meteorologist of sorts. He studies the Martian atmosphere for the Space Science Institute based in Boulder. He says most Martian clouds are made up of water vapor, but these are very different. Carbon dioxide clouds, dry ice clouds uh, that are forming at high altitudes on Mars, uh, something like up to 50 miles or so above the surface. It was the first time they were able to photograph these types of clouds on Mars. Lemon says they were previously overlooked because they are only visible in the twilight hours and they form much earlier than the normal Mars cloud season. It was surprisingly early, but then once we found out about it, we realized that it was just Mars doing Mars. He says clouds impact and change the weather, even on Mars. Temperature, humidity, winds, and dust storms can be better understood by better understanding clouds. That'll be a very important forecast when humans start spending time under the Martian atmosphere. Um, you, you wouldn't go on a vacation without checking the weather where you're going, so don't go to Mars without checking the weather first. Earth meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. Earth meteorologist. Nice. When you think of clouds, you also think of precipitation. Lemon says that ice precipitation does fall out of Martian clouds, but it all evaporates long before hitting the ground.